What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about all the issues that the game is causing for new gen hardware and how a lot of people that play on Xbox Series S and X are wanting refunds uh, for the game. They're wanting to be refunded for purchasing Call, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War because of all the problems that they are having. Before we get into all the details, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I wish you'd take just a second to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Of course, the same thing. If you enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have the notifications turned on so you know when everything goes live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now that that's out of the way, um, like I said, a lot of people are having problems. Uh, the game has been having big issues just in general with bugs, glitches, that kind of thing. But when it comes to new hardware, new gen consoles, uh, even people on PS5 have been complaining of the uh, game shutting down their new console completely. There's been a lot of reports if this happens that it can eventually brick your console. It will eventually not turn back on. It will not work and you're going to have to get a new console. Now, Sony has been, uh, there's a lot of you know people out there talking about that Sony has been giving out new PS5s, uh, refunding people or you know pretty much swapping it out for a new one, you know, letting you send the uh, corrupted bad one back in and you can get a new one from them. Uh, same kind of thing has been reported with Xbox as well. I do not have a new gen console. I'm still playing on a day one PS4. New gen consoles are extremely hard to find right now. And to have this issue where the game is crashing your console to the point where it could corrupt your uh, GPU, CPU, whatever the case may be, whether you're playing on PC or a new gen console, we haven't really heard a lot of issues with PC, but there are a lot of crashing issues if you watch any of the pro players play. A lot of them have, you know, issues where the game will crash. So nobody wants anything to mess up their new gen consoles. There have been people on Reddit. Uh, the Reddit post is absolutely full of, you know, Xbox Series S and X players complaining about this issue. Like I said, it has been on PS5 as well, but not as bad. But there are some people now posting that Microsoft is returning their money for the game. So a lot of people are getting refunded for their purchase of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now, will this be a widespread thing we won't know probably for several more days if they're going to start refunding everyone on xbox i'm not sure if they're just refunding people you know that have had such bad issues with the game that has absolutely broken their new gen console but overall this is not good no matter how you look at it and charlie intel kind of broke this news this morning talking about this with a great article so i will link it down in the description if you guys would like to read over it but just as a whole this does not look good for you know, new gen consoles, whether you're a, a fan of the Series S, Series X, a fan of the PS5, it seems like these problems are everywhere. But like I said, it seems like it's more uh, prevalent on the Xbox Series S and X. And the difficulty of finding a new gen console, believe me, I know I've been trying to find one and get one pre-ordered or get one purchased since the day they were first announced. And I still have not been able to get one yet. Shows you that, you know, the popularity of those, those new consoles are there. But at the same time, no one wants to buy a new gen console and absolutely have it uh, destroyed within, you know, a couple weeks of just, you know, getting it. So I, I think it's good that Microsoft is, you know, kind of refunding some people. How this will work in the long run, I'm not sure, because we've all kind of experienced this in the past. And there are a few games in the past. I can think of an older Assassin's Creed game, you know, that was so buggy. I can't remember if it was Unity or which one it was. But one of them was so buggy, they pretty much gave everybody their money back. But also we've seen in the past people complain about a game because they don't like it and, you know, other kind of small bugs and issues and we don't ever really see any refunds go out. But I do find it kind of interesting that Microsoft is refunding players, of course, for their, you know, digital purchase of that game. Now, if you're a person that's having an issue with a disc version, I have not heard of any, you know, people being able to take their, you know, game back to like GameStop or Target or Walmart, for example, and getting a refund. It seems to be if you have purchased that game digitally on, uh, you know, the Microsoft, uh, the Microsoft store on the Xbox Series S or X, some people, like I said, are getting uh, their games refunded because of the issues that it is causing. Now, like I said, I'm not sure if they're going to do that for everyone that's having issues. They may be only doing this for people that have, you know, really serious issues that have already kind of had problems with their console shutting off nonstop. Like I said, just be careful if you play on any platform, no matter what it is, if you're having big issues with the game shutting down. Uh, you may want to go play something else. You may want to wait for the update. I'm hoping tomorrow's update is going to help with this. I'm kind of wondering if that is why season one got delayed now that all this information has been coming out over the last few days. I'm wondering if that's why they delayed season one. So that way they could put out that update tomorrow that hopefully is going to help with all the crashing problems on the new gen hardware. 
Um, I, I kind of worried about this. I, I wasn't really sure what to be worried about, you know, the situation happening on old gen or new gen, but I knew it was going to be really difficult for a company to come in and make a game for so many different platforms. You're having to make it for PC. You're having to make it for PS4. The day one PS4, like I play on the old school one, the PS4 Slim. You're having to make this for the PS4 Pro, the Xbox One, uh, the Xbox One X, the Series S, the Series X, the PS5. And there's so many things that they're having to make this game for now. So many different platforms. Of course, there's going to be problems. And I, I kind of assumed that was going to be the case. Honestly, I, I kind of thought that we would see more issues on older gen software or, you know, older gen hardware, excuse me, than we have, uh, you know, really on the newer gen stuff. But like I said, it seems to be just a Call of Duty problem. There's nobody really reporting this issue with anything else. Um, I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla myself on, on uh, PS4. I read a lot of the forums for that game as well. I haven't really seen anybody talking about, you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla crashing their PS5 or their Xbox Series S or X. So it looks like it is a Call of Duty problem. I'm glad that Microsoft's kind of getting on top of this. Hopefully, if this continues to happen, you know, they will continue to, you know, be supportive and giving people their money back, seeing them new consoles, whatever the case may be. Uh, the same case, if it continues to happen on PS5 as well and gets worse, knock on wood that it won't for all of you out there that have a new gen console. But if it does, hopefully so uh, Sony will kind of follow suit as well, kind of do the same thing Microsoft's been doing here. But I'm hoping that new update tomorrow will get some of this straightened out. Uh, I know all of you out there on new gen consoles are really big Call of Duty fans are, you know, are wanting to play the game. But I know a lot of you are kind of skeptical at the same time because, like I said, you don't want to just absolutely destroy your new console and <laughs> you know, let it crash and burn, you know, within, uh, you know, only having it a couple weeks. Because, yes, while you may get a new one sent to you, it's still kind of a, a pain and a hassle to have to uh, already have a new one sent out this early on. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've been having any issues yourself. Like I said, I know it's been kind of a, a strange time for consoles. Not only are they extremely hard to find, now we're having all these big issues uh, as well with, you know, these consoles not working correctly, uh, crashing with some games. And there have been reports of a few other games here and there crashing the PS5 and the new Xbox Series S or X. But mainly, like I said, it looks like it's just Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War right now. Hopefully they'll get this uh, straightened out. Hopefully Treyarch's new update will, you know, fix some of the stuff. And we won't have to worry about this too much longer. And hopefully they'll also get the issues fixed on PC. I know you guys get a lot of crashing errors as well. Like I said, I've been watching a lot of the Pro League players have some of these issues. No real report of it hurting anything on PC yet. But let's keep our fingers crossed and hope Trout can get this fixed rather quickly. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.